Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be doing another reaction request from my patron, Louis Ariza. And Louis wrote me some very helpful background information on the song, so I'm going to read it to you. This is for Baby Metal over the future. And he wrote, this song has a lot of backstory. When Yui was young, a family member got sick and had to go to the hospital for a while. Her family visited every day, but Yui was too young to be allowed in. So she had to wait in the room outside. On the TV, they put on a series called Karen Girls and over the future was the theme song and was performed by the group Karen Girls. When her family member was discharged, Yui told her family that one day she wanted to join Karen Girls and perform Over the Future. When the series ended, the group disbanded and one of the members was Suzuka, who helped start the band Baby Metal and Sue Metal. Yui and Moa joined and in one of their first concerts, they performed Over the, Rain over the Future, excuse me, I almost said Over the Rainbow, different song. <laughs> and when it was over, Yui said that this was the day all of her dreams came true. Aww, a super cute performance with a surprise or two. So I'm very excited to check out our cute girls singing Over the Future. Let's jump right in without further ado. So I'm just going to pause it there for a moment. So this, of course, is where um, Sue enters and has her solo moments. But I just wanted to comment up to here on the other two girls. So they feel so little to me here. You know, they really feel like little girls here. And it's so, so, so cute. There's just this innocence about their voices. They sound so light and bright the way that they're singing. And it almost reminds me of like one of those dance competition shows like Dance Moms or something where you have the, the girls dancing in synchrony, they're doing these choreographed routines, but it's set against this very incongruous backdrop of the heavy metal music and the band of the skeletons. So it's just this very, very cute juxtaposition of very disparate elements. You really get a sense of their innocence and their youth here. And now they're a little bit more mature. They're still obviously very, very young, but their voices have darkened a little bit and the production level has gone up from here and become even more of a fabulous spectacle, over the top experience. Here it seems a little bit more innocent and it's just like the nascent beginnings when they're still very, very young and little and sweet. So it's super cute to see 
the beginning of the group. And the song is really catchy. It definitely sounds like it could be a theme song for a popular like cartoon show or something on television. It's very, very hooky and very, very catchy. Awesome. Really, really, really cool. I loved that. So a couple things that I want to mention. Number one, I don't know if they're exactly the same age, the three girls, but you can really hear the difference in the maturity levels of their voices. You know, Sue just has such a strong voice and she has a lot more depth and bassiness to her voice than the other two girls. Their voices sound much more childlike and innocent and bright and light. Her voice is much more full bodied already and has like a certain maturity and heaviness to it and just power. You know, she's got a, a, an amazing voice. I really, really like the musicianship. I think the band is amazing and they really shine their versatility and the accuracy with which they play at like really high velocities is so impressive. And I don't know if it's something that like, I mean, obviously a lot of heavy metal musicians are very accurate in their playing and have a lot of like high caliber musicianship, but I think it's also something that is intrinsic to like Japanese culture where they're like very, very accurate in everything that they do. I don't know if this is, if you find that this is true as well, but they have like a very, very high standard, you know, and you can see that in the musicianship and also in the synchronized dancing as well. Everything is like so on and so perfect and so clean. It's really, really impressive. I loved that moment where they actually say over the future in English. That was really, really cute and really drove the title and the topic of the song home. And I think you can really see the characteristic high energy level of their performances in this that we've all come to know and love. It's this really, really high energetic performance from the moment that they start all the way through this four minute song and to jump around like that and keep that high energy up the entire time is really, really impressive just to have that endurance. You know, it's just a very, very physical activity to be jumping around and singing and dancing the whole time and never falter, never slack, never fall out of that synchronized precision that entire time. It's just very, very impressive. So I thought it was really great to see such young people singing and performing at such a high level and executing this vision. And it was all there right from the beginning, you know, that juxtaposition of the heavy music and the cute little girls with so much talent and so much energy. I think it's just this very winning 
charming, effervescent combination that I really enjoy. So I loved it. Thank you so much for recommending that I watch this, Lewis. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction and I'll see you guys here next time. If it's a Monday, I'll see you Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you Monday. Until then, take care. And of course, happy singing.